Just got to do a quick, really accurate trace uh, of this pick guard because we're going to send it in the tracing and have a custom pick guard made for it. Just a real fine pen. Alright, I'll just cut this down to actual about this big and throw it in an envelope and send it off to him. Well, we start this week with some unboxing. I've got some pretty cool stuff happening in here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I know what these two bottom ones are. Actually, I know what they all are, but <clears throat> let's start with the Stumac box. Normally, I don't buy stuff from Stumac. However, this particular thing is something that I've been wanting for a long time. I'll leave a link to it in the description. But this is the Stumac Z file. All right, so this is a Z file. So it's in the shape of a Z, that's why they call it a Z file. And the idea is, is that it doesn't matter what size the fret is uh, to crown the fret, you run it one way, then you run it the other way, and it's just automatically awesome. So I'm really stoked about that. We'll talk about that coming up here pretty quick. Like I said, normally Stumac isn't my choice. They're the only ones that make that thing. And I have to thank Chris at Texas Toast for uh, turning me on to that thing. Now we were talking about in a video, I don't know, maybe in the vlog, maybe in a live recently, about goofy sustain stuff. So I thought, why not order some goofy sustain stuff? So uh, I got the Fender Fat Finger Sustain Enhancer. <laughs> Ooh, I, like I can already like, yeah, there's just sustains like just in there, man. Like, I bet if you just open, can you, can you hear it? Like, can you hear sustain? Just a little bit? No? Okay. We'll, we'll try it. We'll see what happens. Ooh, this one's made in the USA. Dylan, I included a GraphTech tusk insert to try after the next string change. Go with brass first. Okay. I ordered this in my wife's name because I didn't want anybody to know that I had a YouTube channel, but I almost think that he still knew. So the Backbone Guitar Products Sustain Enhancer, Guitar Resonance Enhancer. Ooh. So the concept behind this thing is you take your neck plate off and this replaces the neck plate and it's supposed to tie everything together and give you more sustain. So you string the, you string the guitar through these holes. And apparently this is also interchangeable for this GraphTech one. So we're gonna test both of these things and see whether it's amazing or not or whether it is the dumbest thing I've ever spent $59 on in my entire life. I'm gonna try to be objective about this, but that's all I can promise. Okay, so a bunch of people in comments on a live video yesterday wanted to know how, what the easiest way is or how to uh, sync up audio when we're playing a guitar and we're trying to sync it up to the camera, okay? So, this is your behind the scenes camera. This is the camera that I'm gonna record. And then we'll put it on screen and I'll show you how we sync it up. What I'm using right now is my Zoom H5. Now, this could work if you're doing a direct out recording from an amp. Same concept will happen. Um, whatever you're recording it on, we'll be capturing you down here. We've got our video coming from here. 
So let's go ahead and turn on our camera. All right, and what we're gonna do, is we're gonna start the camera. We're gonna start the recording on the audio. And this is typically what I just, I do, I do this. When it's a plugged in guitar. Because when it's a plugged in guitar, you want the signal to go through the amp so that you have whatever's going direct, that pop. And then you also have the audio pop from you actually doing it going to this camera over here. So we'll show you what that looks like. So let's go ahead and play. So that should be enough. So now let's go ahead and put this in the computer um, and I'll show you I guess maybe well yeah we'll just put it in the computer and I'll show you exactly what you're looking for and, and how to sync it up. Okay so what we're gonna do is first of all we're gonna go ahead and import the footage. Now I'm using Final Cut Pro, but even if you use iMovie on your, uh, if you use iMovie on your iPad or on your iPhone, it's going to look very similar to this, which is free. So iMovie's free. So let's go ahead and we'll plop that, we'll plop that uh, video onto here, and then let's go ahead and. Where did that audio go? Oh, there it is. Okay, so here's the audio. Now, you see how easy this is? Just, you can see right here, already. See how that spike? So what we're looking at is the zoom um, file, which is highlighted right now, that yellow is from the audio recorder. And then obviously the top one is the camera, okay? So we've got the camera. So now all we have to do is come in here and just make sure that those points, see, and you can move this around. So typically what I do is I just take my playhead and I just put it on one of these points and I just make sure and you can zoom in. Oh, see, once you zoom in, it's a little bit off. So you just come in here. And line that bad boy right up. Boom. That's it. Let me just cut that out. Now everything is lined up. Now typically on this part, what I do is um, once the playing starts, let's see, let's get to where we're playing. Okay, so here's where we're playing. Okay, now what I'm gonna do because I'm going to go ahead and just cut this here and here and then we're just going to ditch all of this Boom. and there will be our f oh and then the other thing we'll do is we'll turn down the audio from the camera because we don't need the audio from the camera because we've got the audio from the microphone that is going to be our quality so if you used an amp you would just have only amp sound and video from the camera. So turn the so the easiest way to say this would be once you get your marks lined up, then turn down the camera audio. Uh, unless you're speaking. So if you're speaking, like if we're talking, we're talking, we're talking, then we start playing, then just turn up the audio for the camera and this parts where you're speaking, cut it and turn down the audio where the parts where you're playing so that you don't have camera and high, high quality recording at the same time. Pretty simple. And one of the things too, when you're doing these videos, is don't talk while you're playing because you want one or the other audio. If you ever watch like Andertons or somebody, they're pretty careful about talking, then playing, then talking, then playing. 
and you'll notice sometimes when somebody speaks while they're playing that you can't hear their voice. So make sure that you don't talk and play at the same time. Uh, Alright, uh, this is what it sounds like. So there you go. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, make sure you check us out on Tuesday. I got some really cool stuff coming out on Tuesday. Uh, unless you are on Patreon or a YouTube member, you already know what it is. Uh, so make sure you check that out, uh, as well as our live video on next Thursday. Uh, we got some really cool stuff coming. And uh, also, if you watched our live yesterday, make sure you get over to Instagram and leave your opinion on that A-B test that I left on Instagram. That's very important for some videos that we got coming up and I wanna try this format. So please, as many of you as possible, get over to Instagram, here's the Instagram, and go ahead and leave your opinion. That's all I need you to do. Just leave your opinion, what you think you hear, uh, or what you hear, what, not what you think you hear, what you actually hear on that sample. Awesome, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you Tuesday.